Hey, what is up guys, Bonfiggy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a 97 kill specialist gameplay on the map mission. Obviously, I was playing 6v6 domination, and a lot of people always ask me why I never play ground war. You know, they say that's where all the kills are at, that's where you get all the good gameplays. And I do agree to some extent that you can get some really great gameplays in ground war. It just seems way too hectic for me in Modern Warfare 3. Back in Black Ops, I would always play ground war. I would definitely play a lot of Nuketown when it was 6v6 domination, but I would mainly play ground war domination. And the thing is, I would be able to do really good in that because there was no death streaks. And the thing that always screws me over in Modern Warfare 3 is it just gets way crazy with all the death streaks and everything. Especially if you don't have, like, Blast Shield on or anything. I'll be getting blown up by Dead Man's Hand left and right. I'll be getting killed by Final Stand where they just blop shot me or knife me, something like that. Or there'll be Marty Dom just dropping all over the place. Because normally when you play Ground War, the players, they're usually not the best. Sure, though, you run into those lobbies where the players are pretty good. You know, you may be playing against an Elite Clan or or something like that but from my experience a lot of bad players play ground war so it's all about the lobby but if you're playing against one of those really crappy lobbies it just gets way too hectic even if the players are bad with all the death streaks and all the bullshit that can happen in mono warfare 3 so that's just a real quick answer to why i don't really play too much ground war i just find 6v6 is a lot easier to control especially when you're playing solo i think i was only playing with one person in this gameplay so i thought this was a pretty good game i actually ended up getting a double mob with the p90 so i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background but i actually wanted to tell you guys a couple stories that happened to me over the summer and as you guys know if you are a long time subscriber I actually go on vacation every single year to Canada and we go down we go camping and it's a lot of fun it's probably my favorite vacation and you guys are probably wondering why I like camping but it's not exactly where you just go and just you know kind of camp out by yourselves we have a lot of friends and family up there and we also camp out on a river so we bring up my boat and we can pretty much go jet skiing and inner tubing all that fun stuff we just have a really good time there's also a couple cute girls there that go there as well, which is really nice. But yeah, it's just really fun. There's the first Moab, by the way, already. And that Moab, it was pretty fast. I think it was like 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I did do one transition in there because anything over 30 seconds, I always just cut out because it's just really boring. I'm just running around looking for kills. You guys know how that goes. But yeah, every year we go down to Canada. I mean, we camp out on this river. It's a lot of fun, like I said. And one thing that I actually did, I was fishing. We do a ton of fishing down there. We can pretty much just fish off of our rock. We basically camp on a rock. And I was fishing with Cheetos because for whatever reason, the bass down there, they really like Cheetos. And what I would do, I would just throw it out on the surface and the bass, they just would come up and eat it, which is really fun. You could catch a ton of bass that way. And I think they like stock the river every single year. But uh, one thing that I actually ended up happening was a seagull came down and swooped up my Cheeto and I hooked him actually. So what happened was he kind of like ripped the pole out of my hand and he took off with it. And I didn't really know what to do. So I was in like my hoodie with sweatpants, all that stuff. So I just dove in after it, swam after the fishing pole and reeled the thing in. And it was really challenging to actually get it off the hook or whatever. And I'm just wondering, I mean, is it even legal to catch a seagull? And I couldn't really do anything about it. The seagull, don't worry guys, it was alright and everything. I made sure to handle it carefully. And I wasn't like jerking it around with the hook in its mouth or anything like that. But that was just a really weird experience that I had there. I just randomly caught a seagull. I mean, it kind of just came out of nowhere. I didn't even suspect it. And it just took my Cheeto, man. I was going to catch a big bass with that. But you guys know how that goes. It's just random stuff that happens. You can never know what's going to happen with nature kind of like Call of Duty, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys could, please leave the video a like, and also I'm going to be doing a question and answer video for my next vid, and I'm going to be uploading probably one of my best gameplays. It's actually a 102 to 4 specialist gameplay, and I'm going to be doing a question and answer video, so if you guys have any questions that you want to be answered, just leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get to those, and also if we can hit 400 likes on this video, I'll do my best to get out another video for you guys, but anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy, and peace out.